Hello there, lovely soul. This is Infinity, and thank you for joining me for the Leo April 2021 full moon reading. Welcome, cross watchers, and of course, welcome if this is your moon or your rising, and of course, your sun sign. Uh, these have been really fun uh, readings, and I am using whatever card decks that I'm being guided to for each particular sign. So if you watch multiple um, of these videos, you will see a little differentiation when it comes to what we're doing. But we're always starting with the Moonology card. So just doing a little shuffle in here. Um, if I'm new to you, I'm Infinity. I'm a shaman, mystic, medical medium, psychic, physical empath, uh, ascension coach, guided astral meditation guide and channeler. I do mediumship. I'm a quantum distance healer for people and animals worldwide. And my website is thehealingbutterfly.org. I encourage you to check it out. I've got free eBooks. My podcast is on there. Uh, and you can get to my articles on medium.com as well. And right now I have a special for Mother's Day for mediumship. And there's information that's going to be in the description. So without further ado, let's get your card, Leo. Oh, here it is. Hold your vision. Hold your vision. Fixed moon. Hold your vision. So it feels like what I'm getting here, because we see this moon, it's this like 50-50 moon going on, this fixed moon. And it feels to me like I'm going to the Archangel Oracle. Uh, maybe, there, maybe you're a little feeling out of balance, not quite stable um, in what you're thinking about doing or what to do. Um, let's see what else we get here. Because I'm getting this thing with, with balancing out energies and things being kind of lopsided. But let's see what we get here. Courage. Archangel Ariel, be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. And there you go, Leo, with those lions behind her. If you can see that, those lions behind her right there. Um, I'm feeling like you're probably being pushed into a, a situation where it's like... Uh, Need being on your own or separating from a lot of people, perhaps that sort of thing. I want to get one more here. Teaching and learning with Zadkiel. Keep an open mind and learn new ideas. Then teach these ideas to others. So I feel with this that I'm hearing one more. Oh, there it is. Hello from heaven. Archangel Razi Azriel. <laughs> Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. So um, <laughs> there goes that mediumship. Um, yeah, like it feels, <laughs> it really feels like it's like Let's balance out what's going on with you by separating from people and connecting more with spirit, connecting more with your guides, your guardians, your ancestors, your loved ones who have crossed over. Um, and as odd as that may sound, um, that's really where the truth is because people have perceptions and they're complicated and they have their experiences and their history and their pre-programmed way of being and dealing and um 
it feels like with this hold your vision, it's kind of like even visions. Like, have you dreams, visions of things you can't explain or or even dreaming about those who have crossed over or connecting with um, ancestors or uh, more connecting. I'm hearing connecting more with ancestors or deeper and more visually. Um, um, what else was that? D um, in dreams. Um, and to... To lean into your psychic visions. Um, teaching and learning. Keep an open mind. So you may be conflicted with your own. My, my flower is distracting me because it's all. There we go. Sorry, I had to fix my flowers. Um, it feels like there's a little bit of a push and pull here trying to get into balance. And this keep an open mind about, keep an open mind, it's kind of like, don't be so stuck on what you think or that certain things came through to you at some time and that remains true now. Um, because things change and and situations change and people change and and um, I'm gonna do tarot. I'm gonna jump into tarot. Uh, and people change and situations change and experiences ha happen and all that kind of good stuff. And so, if you had some idea or some vision or felt a knowing about something and and it's like this is what it is and not all those components are still in play or working out or whatever I'm hearing let it go let it go don't be so like I'm seeing like a dog with a toy or a you know that whole like whoa that whole like dog with a with a bone kind of thing it's like um with an idea and maybe that's what it is and also this hold your vision um could be the opposite of that to let go of what you're what you're so holding on to like you're holding on to this thing um be courageous let things go move on i'm also feeling a little bit of that in here too like like it's time to get get yourself into it's like almost like the elevator's risen to its floor, doors are opened up, and you're still like, I wasn't done with what was going on, and that's supposed to be here, and you're like, <laughs> trying to arrange things, um, and you're not getting off on the floor that you're on. Sort of business. Um, and these cards are taking forever to get ready. <laughs> Just not getting the go ahead to pull. They're not coming out. Really interesting. There we go. Five of Cups. Got the go ahead here. The Magician coming out in reverse. The Wheel in reverse. The Fool right side up. Knight of Pentacles right side up. Hearing, let's get one more. And King of Swords in reverse. Okay. So we have Five of Cups. Five of Cups. The Magician in reverse. I will double check and see if that's staying in reverse. The Wheel in reverse. The full right side up, uh, Knight of Pentacles right side up, and the King of Swords in reverse. So let me just check in here. That's how they came out, but that doesn't always mean that that's how they're supposed to, to be and how I'm supposed to interpret them. Okay, we're going right side up with the Magician. 
And we're staying with, my nose is all running because my third eye is. <laughs> oh, goodness. I do have a an article coming out about the third eye and all the Claire's um, soon. They're big, so they take time. <laughs> um, and you're, it's 20 or 21 clues on your third eye opening and your nose running is one of them. Okay. So yeah, like I said here, it's like we're we're holding on. We're disappointed that something didn't work out or we're holding on to a thing. We have an idea or we had a, a hope for something here. And you see like she's like Like those cups are, like this one, she's got her foot in it and it's spilling. And that's like disappointment, like things, but it is, five is change. Five is, uh, and the five of cups is like, okay, you have to see this for what it is. We need to let this go um, and, and, and move on kind of thing. Um, because the, once you do more of this magician energy will come through now we have the fool and the magician we have the one the one and the zero and then we have the wheel which is also a 10. so that's interesting um that's interesting that we have the magician which is the one the first card not the first card the second card in the major arcana the first card being the fool the zero card um So definitely we're at a stage here with beginning and connecting. You have the the wheel though is in reverse. So again, where it's like the energy is there and ready for you to continue to move, but your you, it's your energy that's keeping you stuck, not what's going on around you. Because we have the fool here, we have the wheel here, we have the magician here, we have the knight of pentacles who's on the move, who's got some place to be, he's abundant. Um, and then that king of swords really telling me, and, and this king of swords, especially in this deck, really speaks to me um well there's a couple of cards actually that that archangel michael can come out in but definitely with this card i feel archangel michael energy we have a dragon we have a dragonfly we have a raven and we have this owl and we he's there with his sword and crystals he's up on top of a mountain so he has a higher perspective he's contemplative he's um he sees the bigger picture. He's mentally strong. He's forward thinking, but he's in reverse. And so this is also telling me that we have a situation where you're like, not, I'm hearing not picking up the phone. You're just like messages are coming or attempting to come through. But because it's like I'm not opening up that mail because I don't want to see what the letter says. I'm not picking up the phone because I don't want to get that information like that sort of thing. We've all been there. <laughs> We've all been there. It's like nope, not don't want to know, not dealing with that, can't deal with that, don't want to know that. And it's a little bit like that. And I'm, I'm being directed back to that hello from heaven card. Um, because it's really from your angels, archangels, ancestors, friends, loved ones are all there. And they're all like, and I think that's maybe why it's because it's really overwhelming that, that it could, that you're just like, you muted it basically. Um, we're going to get into the uh, um, archetype cards, just the tools here. There's the places, the selves, the initiations, and the tools. There we go. And I was guided for just this, um, these readings to just work with the tools. Let's see what we got here. The riddle. Look at that with the knot, the infinity knot there, the Celtic knot. I have that. I have a ring. 
the exact same thing. Actually, I have <laughs> several infinity symbols that I that I wear. Um, it just kind of happens like that. Anyway, the riddle here. So let's dive into what did I do with it? Oh, I moved all my stuff last night and I didn't put it back. Um, here we go. The riddle. Let's see what page the riddle is on. 171. The riddle. Let's take a look at that again, Leo. <sighs> okay. Uh, the puzzle, the question, the mystery. When the riddle is present, one must stop searching for the right answer. It cannot be found, and ultimately it is not important. Rather, there must be a shift from the literal to the metaphorical, from logic to mythic. You are thinking too small and literally about the situation. The riddle card appears when the energy is deep and mysterious, like the elusive wisdom of a Zen cone. Uh, focusing harder won't do it. Neither will increased effort, time, surrender, and humor are your only allies. What feels like the most pressing dilemma won't reveal its deeper wisdom for a long time. I'm going to read that again. What feels like the most pressing dilemma won't reveal its deeper wisdom for a long time. Eventually, you'll learn a profound lesson from the riddle. For now, get comfortable with the limitations of your intellect and the reality of not knowing. It may, in fact, be the only reality there is. And it says, when light, a great awakening or aha moment. And when dark, manipulation, deceit, trickery. And it says, go deeper. Practice the Buddhist I don't know mind. And it's okay not to know. Because guess what? We don't know way more than we know. <laughs> I find comfort in that. Um, but yeah, this is exactly the energy we have going on here. It's like you're pressing to know, to figure out, to get an outcome, to, 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 to have this happen. And you're pushing out things that are, that are saying you can't do this. This won't go the way you want it to go. Maybe there was a timeline, but it doesn't exist anymore. Um, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, and and it this really is about moving on this really is about letting go letting the universe play out situations the way that it's meant to i'm going to get into crystal oracle here um get a little bit more insight but yeah this is it, it but it's like you have and it's, it's not like this is necessary to, to go on. It's just you're kind of obsessing. You're kind of like, no, this is the way it's supposed to be or this is the way it needs to be. This is the way I want it to be. This is, you know, whatever. And I feel like it involves a person and they're not cooperating and, and they're not responding and or they're not, you know, behaving in the way What's this? Creativity. Okay. And I am presence. Yeah. I like this. These are good. These are good, helpful messages. Let's get these two more. Unconditional love and inner wisdom oh perfect okay so number one we got was creativity then we got i am presence then we got unconditional love with mother mary and the the card number 33 with the diamond crystal very 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 intense beautiful energy um i forgot to tell you with creativity it's fire and bix bright or bix bite with i am presence it's cosmos and celestite oh my god this is celestite if you're unfamiliar it's one of my very favorite crystals 
and it'll very much connect you with the angelic realms. This is a really big one, obviously. It's a pretty big one. Um, and heavy. <laughs> um, so celestite and cosmos, yeah, because it connects you with angelics, archangels. Um, diamond is single refractive. And so what that means is when light shines on a diamond or another single refractive type um, crystal, like um, there's only a couple of them. Spinel is another one. Um, it doesn't separate the light. It just keeps it in one beam of light. So... What this means is, and, and unconditional love being with the diamond, I love that because it's, it's from it's like heart to heart, and Mother Mary coming through is really, it's like um, and then with this um, hello from heaven, so you're connected to, um, very powerful divine beings that are really trying to guide you. We have Archangel Michael who's saying you're just not picking up the phone, you're not answering the call your 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 and we can do that i mean we have free will so even if archangel michael and mary and jesus and whomever is trying to get through and we're just like la, 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 i can't hear you you know as powerful they are our will is the most powerful thing that there could possibly be so there you go. Okay, and then inner wisdom with Mother Gaia again. Huge, huge, um, big energies coming through here with Gothite um, and card number 17 with Mother Gaia. So Mother Gaia, <sighs> I work with her. So I work with all of these beautiful divine beings so closely in the work that I do. My healing practice, my working with people through ascension connection with these and especially mother gaia she's and i say this over and over she's my showrunner she's she's um at the top here with how things run upon her 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 body her planet her home her family we are her family and um inner wisdom with her coming in is saying you she's okay let me tap in here So she's saying, you know what you need to do? Sometimes the hardest and, and most uh, difficult thing, but shows the most strength and the most courage, like courage coming out here, is letting go, is walking away, is saying, I'm, I surrender. I surrender. The I am presence is about going outside of you, outside of your thought patterns you your narcissistic needs your egoic mind i feel like there's healing that needs to be done here when it comes to how we relate to others how we i want to get into this real quick how we relate to others and how we position ourselves in our story. And there may be this a need to see yourself the way that um, others see you and and how you know your need to be involved, your need to be Okay, Leo, that was really odd. The recording just stopped for some reason. So anyway, what I was saying was there could be this need. There's just, I feel like there's just a lot of, I want to control. I need to, I need to do, I need to be, I need to be seen. I need to be heard. I want attention, this kind of thing. Um, and I'm not going to lie. It feels a little narcissistic. It feels like you're just whatever other people are telling you or have told you about this situation or maybe in general that you're just a very, you're very headstrong. You're very like, um, yeah, I'm not saying that it's like you don't care about people because you do. And, but it's just method. I'm hearing it's kind of like the method of how things are, are have been 
or going about or with or it could just not in general could be with this situation you're just gonna have to discern this for yourself um because and we got this self card <laughs> interesting and we got the um six of water six of cups and we got the self card okay let's get more the seven of swords the journey and the sage and let's get one more emotions oh okay yeah so you're definitely tied wrapped up tied up into something kind of obsessively um maybe it's a love lost maybe it's you're just not maybe it's just like nope me and her or him are gonna be together or we're gonna have this relationship or this is the way it's gonna be this is what i saw in my vision this is we're twin flames we're soulmates we're the same or whatever and you're just not allowing for freedom here um because it feels like and it's this may not well let me this self card is like it is and what i said earlier this feels very from my perspective me my perspective how i see things um and the six of cups coming in under the magician there's definitely healing that needs to take place definitely going within um water would be excellent for you to meditate in water and um wow look at all this four major arcana cards here and the this dreams of gaia tarot is not set up the regular traditional way so we have the self as a major arcana card the journey the sage and emotions so and emotions are is coming in under this knight of swords and that is that was representing that higher level knowledge or you know this from the self from the um the higher self the arcane archangel energy just you know so there's all this really it feels so powerful it feels like there's definitely we have the sage here coming through um so another owl here more birds um with the doves with the owl with or two owls now um okay so let me show you we have the self here we have the six of cups or six of water we have the seven of swords the journey uh the sage oops and emotions and yeah the journey is coming in right under the fool card so a new beginning is here for you and there's definitely a situ situations coming in the future that is going to help you that is going to help you get past this stuckness with this situation this person it could be i i really feel that it it's a, a a situation with a person or maybe a group of people and you want to fix it you want it to be different you want it to be the way it was before something happened um that sort of thing but it's just not meant to go in that direction i'm feeling and you need to let this upper level energy and guidance come through remember the riddle it's it's the riddle is that you can't change it or figure it out or do anything about it you just need to to stop and move on um like
see I'm seeing, I'm hearing like, see the wind rattle the trees. See, like you, you can't deny the evidence before you. What you want somebody or something to be and what it is. Look at what it is. Not the vision of what you had or the feelings or the dream that you had or the ideas or whatever that may have came through, but what it is. And um, I'm being pointed to this creativity card. So um, use, use outlets like being creative in whatever ways that you are creative. Building stuff, create, uh, doing art, writing, um, to help move this energy out of you. And of course, like I said here, healing would be good. Um, I want to read this self card. It keeps knocking on my door. So let's get into this self card here. Oh, there's emotions. Well, uh, emotions, feelings, emotional honesty, positive emotions, negative emotions, acknowledgement, acceptance, acceptance. Use your feelings to evaluate a situation. Heed the message behind the feeling. Are you negative or positive person? Do not prejudge the present based on the past. Um, exactly. Exactly. It's like you're still like, nope, but it's this way. And it's like, nope, that's the way it was. Or that's what you thought. Or that's what it, you know, it's like if everybody was and thought that way, then it, this world would be in complete chaos because it'd be like, you once were totally in love with me and that's the way it's going to be forever. That's psychotic. That's crazy. It's like, well, no, we are, we're not in love anymore. Now I'm moving on. And you know, that, that sort of thing. Um, The emotions card is a third of the eight influence cards and represents the influence that our feelings and emotions have upon our choices and decisions. The positive feelings and emotions that have most influence upon us are love, joy, gratitude, peace, and serenity, hopefulness, inspiration, amusement, pride, awe, and curiosity. We also feel a range of negative emotions with the primary examples being fear, anger, disgust, jealousy, sadness, regret, loss, and hate. The key message of the emotions card is that feelings and emotions are neither good or bad. They are necessary and each and every emotion we experience has both a positive and negative element to its nature. Positive and negative exists in all that influences us, whether it be a single thought, belief, experience, or an emotion. When you hold a simple unmarked magnet in your hand and look at it, can you tell the difference between the negative pole and the positive pole? You cannot. In the same way, negative emotions are indistinguishable to positive emotions. Negative is the polar opposite of positive, and like many polar extremes, these do not denote good or bad. They are simply the opposites of each other, and both poles are necessary for us to function in a whole and healthful manner. Deep. <laughs> Let's, oh, and there's journey, experience, character, the past, cause and effect, consequence, conditioning, environment, external influences, providence. You are created by your experiences. Your character is shaped by your past. How does your past influence you? The journey card represents the first of the eight influence cards. Your life journey, your past is made up of experiences, choices, and moments that have shaped and created the person you are in the present. You're a sum total of what you've experienced in your journey. Your journey has influ influenced your personality and character. You have been shaped by your successes um, and failures, triumphs and mistakes, heartbreaks and healing. The moments you have been alone and the moments you have shared with others. Your journey has shaped your likes and dislikes, your biases, your beliefs, and, your, and has governed all action. If you look back at your life, you will see that you have moved through from one moment and experience to the next. You have faced obstacles and overcome them. You have had moments that have brought you to so low that you cannot believe you could continue to live. You have had your heart broken and believed it would never heal, but it did. And once healed, you have traveled forward to the next moment forever changed. The choices you make from that point onward were influenced by the past, by what the past taught you. Okay, this is interesting. <laughs> Self, there we go. 
<laughs> worked our way backwards. Interesting the way this is all coming out, Leo. I am. So the self is another I am card. Identity, self-realization, self-manifestation, center, peace, acceptance. Establish a unique individual identity. Be free of definitions and labels. You have unlimited potential. How has your past shaped you? So again, past. The self card is a six of the reasons for being. It signifies the importance of establishing a unique and individual identity that is free of definitions and labels and embraces unlimited potential. There, there are elements within every society that, that do all they can to squash the independent, the creative, and the authentic because they profit in one way or another from doing so. Independent thinkers, creative types, those who defy tradition and convention and who perceive what is ethical and moral and what is legal as being two different beasts are, peop are people that threaten the status quo. As a result, we are indoctrinated. We are told how to think, told what is normal, told what is beautiful and acceptable, what is right and what is wrong. Those who disagree or seek to be independent or just do not fit with society's definition of normal or, and beautiful are often met with fear, anger, contempt, ridicule, and even banishment and imprisonment. Independent thinkers can be considered radicals, creative types seen as eccentric or crazy, and those who do defy tradition and convention as rebels and freaks. All risks, all risk condemnation in one way or another. Yet, time and time again, we are told we should embrace our differences, be creative, and strive to be authentic. Okay, so I'm going to stop there. Um, because, okay, this feels like... It's kind of like... Without this person, without these people reflecting back to me how good I am or how how pious I am or how helpful or how healing or how anything is for me, then I don't know about it. And this is all saying you need to your past is has shaped you to now, but you're still like holding on to some of this stuff and it needs you need to move on. You need to get into the self into the I am we need to we need to pick apart the past and see how that shaped you and why there's this need to control why there's this need to hold on to things um, and and this outward look on let's put things the way that I want it to be instead of what need what are what needs to be fixed and healed and and where are and look at the patterns I'm I'm seeing kind of map out like if especially if you're like this is happening again with somebody or you know that kind of thing if you're like, yeah, this is a situation that's happened again with a person where it was one way and it shifted and then I try to get it back or we had like a disagreement or there's like lines crossed or boundaries or whatever and it just seems to happen again and again, then there's a pattern there. Something needs to be looked at. Something needs to be recognized um, by you. And remember, it's this, this I am, the self came out twice with the self and the I am presence, the journey with, um, with the journey itself, and then with emotions, both talking about the past. So really trying to get you to look at the patterns of your life, your experiences, your history, and how that's shaped to you to the present and what has repeated, what's repeating in your life. And if it's positive, great, keep doing it. But if it's negative, we're talking, and there was this whole thing with the positive and the negative the, with the emotions. So you need to assess that, do the inventory of that and decide, you know, where, what needs to change on your, in your behavior, in your, in the way that you express, communicate, behave, uh, or perceive things and relate. Um, and your, your guides are definitely trying to give you those answers and, and guide you in 
in those ways. It's up to you to be guided and listen, pay attention and accept. Acceptance is a big thing here for you, Leo. You need to accept, be courageous and accept the truth. Accept, you know, we're not, none of us are perfect and we're all different, but especially if there's been people or messages coming through that are that have said you know this is very similar to this or you remind me of this or whatever don't reject that because you're just like i'm different i'm not like other people don't compare me or whatever um but it's like that's how we learn by comparison of experiences and by gaining knowledge and wisdom and if you reject anybody saying this is like this or this or this has happened again or this is you know how this person is you see how this is well the, you're being like that and you'd be like i am a different person it's like well sure you're a different person and 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 all that but you know, you can look at the situation maybe outside of yourself and see how others are perceiving you and why there's certain reactions to things. Okay, Leo. So there is so much guidance here for you. So much love. There is this balancing that needs to take place. You're at a threshold with this full moon energy coming through that really wants to help you and activate you and have you like, I'm feel, I'm seeing this person just like take off layers of shit and be new. Um, that's what needs to happen. Get into your inner wisdom. Gaia wants to guide you there. Use water. Call in those like Archangel Michael, um, Archangel Ariel, um, Mother Mary. Um, connect with the angels. Just surrender. Surrender and and know that it's like you're in a maze. Like the riddle. The riddle isn't the maze, but it's very similar. And, and you're in a maze and... And you only have a couple turns to get out, but you need to get yourself out of that circular thinking of, of being a stickler about how things need to be or how you want them to be. It's not your choice all the time, but it's your choice to accept how things are and to move on and to heal from things and to learn and to gain wisdom um, and recognize, you know, none of us are perfect. We don't always have all the answers we need to be open to being guided and to releasing and to you know not you know stop hitting your head against the wall try stop trying to make a door where there's a wall <laughs> like go find the door kind of thing that's what i'm seeing okay leo happy full moon i hope these messages resonate with you i know they're a little prickly in in certain spots here but they are being sent to you with love with guidance for you so happy full moon through new moon um and don't forget to subscribe leave a comment let me know how this resonates with you um share this and other videos don't forget to check out your other um your moon your rising and of course your sun sign and um I will be coming out with monthlies soon as well. So for now, I bid you adieu, beautiful Leo. Infinite love and blessings. Bye for now.